Hey guys, Big Foot here. Today we're gonna be turning that into this. You have to follow along and watch the process of rendering down beef fat into a tallow candle. We're just gonna slice off the fat, uh, not all of it, just a little bit of it. And we'll render that down. And uh, yeah, we'll show you how to do that. And we're gonna try to take the, the harder fats because that makes for a better candle. Then we got this really nice hard fat right here. This here. All right, so we got a little bit of fat off of there. Yeah, I got one more brisket to trim up. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim up the other one and we'll get back to the rendering part and show you guys what we do with that. Now, we got our fat here. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this down into smaller pieces. That'll make, help us make sure that we get the biggest bang for our buck. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop these up. Okay, so now we got it all chopped into little three quarter inch pieces or so. And we're gonna render the fat out of it and turn it into tallow to use for candles or soap. Now, got this in here and I'm gonna add just a little tiny bit of water to make sure that the whole bottom of my pot is coated because I don't want anything burning, so. I'm going to get some water in there and then we'll uh, turn it on low and come back here in a little bit and see what it looks like. Alright, now that our tallow has been rendering down for a while, we're going to separate all the chunks and put it back in the pot. Now that we got our tallow, we're going to keep processing it maybe one or two more times and try to get it as clean and as pure as we can. Hey guys, remember this stuff? This is that uh, beef fat from that brisket we made. It's been in the fridge, so it's quite hard. So I'll just take this spoon and uh, we'll get her in there. Once you get a little air under it, then it comes out. And we just want the fat. We don't want all this the broth that's under it. We can use that to make some some uh, soup or gravy or whatever stock. Okay, so we got this puck of beef fat. Drop it down in there. Turn that down a little bit. All right. So while that mounts down. I brought in some uh, some spruce twigs here. I'm going to go ahead and throw those in with it. Give our candle a little bit of fragrance. So we'll go ahead and let this uh, spruce twigs and all that stuff get in there. Maybe give it a little little stir. Make sure they get in there and get some some good smell going on. In the meantime, we're going to make our wick, which is going to be this piece of cedar here. And so, what we'll do is, we'll, this is our jar that we're going to, this is our jar we're going to use for a candle. So we'll make our wick out of this piece of cedar here, so I need to measure this. And, I'm just going to measure it to about the top of the jar there. Maybe a little less. I'll just score it. And it should just snap. There we go. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna kind of shave this down a little bit so it's a little thinner. And all these little cedar shavings. I can go ahead and I'll throw those in the fat too. Cedar smells really good. Okay, now we can dump the rest of these shavings in our pot. 
and uh, there's our wick. And I'm going to take this wick that I made. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the pot also. That way it gets soaked up in the oil oils also. And it'll burn good. We'll let that simmer down for just a little bit and uh, get some smells in there. Get our wick nice and saturated. Get all that fat melted down. And then we'll come back and strain it and uh, finish making our candle. All right. Our uh, beef fat here, uh, beef tallow, uh, has been simmering here with some pine needles in it for a little while. And what I'm going to do to add a little bit of color to the candle and maybe a little bit of smell, because who doesn't like this, but is I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon uh, to my candle. Not a lot, maybe a, I don't know, a teaspoon or something. Just add a little bit of cinnamon. And, um, yeah. Give it a nice little tan, kind of a tan color, brown color to the to the uh, candle. Okay, so now we're going to use our our uh, scene, our sieve here, uh, and we're going to separate out all those spruce needles and stuff, uh, and get our get our, get our candle wax chilled again. Separate in, out any more liquid that's not oil. There's our wick. Okay. All right, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for just a little bit until uh, it gets solid and then I will separate one more time the uh, fat wax from the water and then we'll melt it down and pour it and actually make the candle. Alright so our uh, beef tallow is now uh, solidified so I'm going to take this out and put it back in our pot and we'll melt that down then we'll pour it into our jar and uh, make a candle. All right. Pops right out. Leave our wick in there. It'll continue to soak up some of those good oils. And I like to get this beef tallow up to a up to a nice simmer here. And uh, what that's going to do is evaporate any water that might be left in there or any fluids that's not oil so i'm going to go ahead and remove my my wick set that off to the side here i got my jar ready let's pour this in there so i've got my wick and i'm going to use these two sticks to support it there okay okay now I'm gonna pour this tallow right in there I'm gonna take that out of there and wipe the bottom of it off and now I'll put it in here I'll pour this water in there all right we'll just wait for it to cool and then we'll come back when it's time to light it our candle's been sitting here in this ice water for a little while for about an hour and uh, I put it in the ice water so it would speed up the process which it did okay so I'm gonna take this Candle out of here. You can see it's uh, solidified quite nicely. We'll take our two sticks we were using to hold the wick on. There's that. All right. 
Well, the moment we've been on waiting for, let's see if this thing lights up. Yep, so we just turn that unwanted beef fat into an awesome candle. There it is, burning pretty good. Got a nice little crackle to it. Don't throw away the fat, save that fat, make it into candles, make it into soap, waterproofing, all kinds of cool stuff. Save it to cook with, and uh, but most importantly, don't toss it out. All right, well, until next time, this is Bigfoot's Outdoor Adventures, and uh, we'll catch you later. Out.